Oh, here's a little riddle for you. What is the difference between a leopard and a tiger? A dragon. A dragon palms. Uh, how do I say? Uh, a tiger, because a tiger. Leopard dip for differ only in description of and, and a way of life. There are leopards that live in trees, solitary animals, and um, there are. I'm not really sure if there's any other kind of leopard. But then there's tiger. And tiger do, um. When you describe a group of tigers, you're describing a family. And just like a human family. Same word. And a, uh. dragon. Um. differ only because. well. It's your dragon. Um, the emphasis of the paw, the tiger and the leopard, are both the same. It's your dragon. And, um, like, uh, what do I say? It knows that family is important. That's, first of all, very important to, um, to defend one's own genetics. And to make sure that uh, if anyone does, uh, tamper with your genetics, you should bring them to court and say, file charges. This man is tampering with my genetics. This is obviously my son. You can test it. Blood test her. Blood test him. Me. Blood test these people who say that, that this, is, this is their child. And then you know, we know how that this child is obviously being mistreated. I mean, you can bring in counselors. You can, you can analyze and, and figure things out, you know, I mean, uh, it's a lot of people win these court cases. If they use the right wording, I'm sure it's possible. And, uh, a leopard, different from a leopard, uh, no, not to climb trees, stay on the ground. That's a Taoist philosophy. Um, so don't want to keep your feet on the ground, and but there's no, no reason to be afraid of uh, flying in a plane because a plane has a ground too. There's a, there's a, a ground beneath you. Aware of the elements around you, especially when your body's weak. The panda bear doesn't have to be as, as much worried, but still, a good stuff to know. When the body's weak, the elements uh, do play a role. When the body's healthy. Perhaps uh, say when beginning of form practice and our body's weak, uh, when one has to receive the need for form practice and wants to strengthen, wants to accomplish in life. Um, how do you say it? Um, a beginning of uh, too much form practice maybe may cause illness, mental or physical, lack of sleep. Um, you find your own balance. The meditations of certain, like the basic ascension movements, uh, involve all internal organs and the flow of energy within the human body, um, encompassing everything, uh, strengthening whatever you, when your body wasn't full and fully, you know, on fully charged. Um, if there's something you could have accomplished better at a certain point of time for your own health, um, regular form practice, say one routine a day. It started maybe five minutes for the first time you do the exercise. And then years later, you think, wow, I did the same form now for four hours. You know what I mean? You don't have to do it over and over again necessarily. But um, if you do it for a longer period of time, your body builds up. Maybe do it more than once a day even. Depending on how much time you want to spend on it, you know, it's up to you. Um, an important thing to know is that uh, there's like, say, a different form practices of Yang Tai Chi, like... Um, the 24, the uh, 37, there's one in there that, uh, uh, what is the, uh, 
the Lao Yang Tai Chi. One that I, my favorite. Studied it for a long time. The 108. And supposedly there's one longer than the 108. This guy in Britain has. Great Britain has. But um, I don't know. Uh, there is one Yang Tai Chi founder that is the. the I'm not sure if he was actually had his own form and his son carried on the 108. But it said his son is the uh, original of the 108. So there's one form longer than the 108. Uh, it's on the internet. You can look it up. Now the thing is, when you practice the Yang Tai Chi form movements, just just the dance for the Yin and Yang for years and years. Um, uh, I, I I practiced Yang Tai Chi for for ten years alone. I said the Tao Te Ching for ten years alone in the beginning, and then. Well, first I did a little bit, like one year, two years of the central movements. And then 10 years of Yang Tai Chi, and all the whole time I was doing the, 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 the Dao Te Ching studying. Uh, very, very good book, very important to me. Um, very important to spend a lot of time on Dao Te Ching. If you jump right to the outer war, you're going to make a lot of follies in life. Because the Dao Te Ching uh, encompasses the circle. Where the outer war is the circle, but with paths of least destruction to follow a, a circular path and not cross the lines. I mean, there's a difference between an iron cross and a holy cross, definitely. But I'm just trying to say, if you don't spend enough time on the, on the essentials and the, the longer forms of the Yang Tai Chi, uh, without dissecting and re reiterating and reordering them, it's a big mistake. In my opinion, that's, that's sacrilegious. So, honest, it's an ancient art and it involves all your organs and everything within you and all about you. I mean, the, the less, and, and it's different, with the essentials you don't, you don't alter it, they're meant to go together because you do the long, the long yang, the long yang tai chi, the longer the better, with less damage to, to the body, uh, over training, uh, internal organs, function of mind, everything. And then um, when you do the essentials, more when you start to focus more on the centers, get better at the centers later, you start to realize new forms that are created from the long forms. And then when you master those long forms and practice those sequences over time, they blend together and they create new forms that work for you in your own life. And in the essential movements, there's internal organs involved and um, ailments you may gather. Actually, you, you can alter your diet by meditating on what you feel and um, being aware of the, the different movements. Um, it's more in the body than in the mind. Some people feel like they're a little person in their head walking around. Not everyone is like that. Some people feel that their reflexes are actually their mind. Very different way of life. We're looking at things more like, more like you're a person in your stomach. Like you're a little person in your stomach almost so lower than the mind so a little bit different uh, no need to drink beer to relax smoke cigarettes you know, do drugs you're more meditative you you're not a little person trapped in your head no more so and then me art of war and um, the book of five rings they're the same thing it's all about food source and survival, the purpose of life is survival for your genetics. One of the first things I touched on when I started the video. So, honest, you, the path you choose. I mean, other people can actually nip and tuck at different things within your, your genetic path before you and behind you and before behind you, or, you know, you and before you, you know what I mean? It is possible and to affect you, but you can actually. Um, you know, if you, you prepare yourself, you can actually alter situations in your own genetics that could be extremely harmful. It could totally annihilate your own genetics on the planet Earth. I mean, the your four, like the forefathers of your genetics, your grandfather, your great grandfather, uh, and so on and so forth, grandmother, all you know, grandmother, great grandmother, you know, great great grandmother. Um, so the beginning of time, I mean, think about it. If, if you do something here, stupid at this point, at this this spot here. In other parts of the world, you have genetics relatives all over the place. They're not just here in this neighborhood or like within three feet of where I'm standing. My genetic relatives are not all right here, obviously. I might have relatives in, in over overseas someplace. And me doing something stupid in life here could actually cause something stupid to happen over there. Not just where that you know they live. You know what I mean? And 
honest things do happen. I mean, there's drunken nights. Just because your driver's license, your birth certificate says so, doesn't mean they're really a relative. Genetically, birth certificate, yes, and, and some do adopt, and they don't know. They don't allow the children to know. The children have no idea. Sometimes they put on, they put on, you know, Ritalin, and psychotics, all kinds of weird stuff. They're prescribed it, but um, they don't necessarily need it. Uh, the parents may have different ideas, different views, and the child is trying to follow the genetic inheritance of the parents. So sometimes the child gets sick or mistreated or abused. You the drift. So important things to know. And um, it's good to talk.